Okay, now that we have this all done, um, it's all already been waxed, um, ready to basically ready to turn this in for a final part. Um, you have a couple choices. Um, some people like the idea of having this extra spot on here. Other people like to have the white. Other people want to get all that cut off and just have the design. Um, it's completely up to you on how you want to do that. Um, I, I really like the white. Um, I feel like it's just kind of a really fun way to frame it in. Um, it does not affect your grade one way or another, you know, in terms of which direction, but you, you do need to get a, uh, a pin and also put it on one of these tension rods, which I'll explain in a second. So the first thing is I'm gonna get all this cut out. I wouldn't cut and rip this one um, just because you're not 100% sure, you know, if your picture was, you know, lined up right, you know, on the seams. Um, so I'm just gonna go in and just go and cut this real quick. Okay, now I have it all cut out. I did round the edges on this one because this is the way it was when it was on there. Um, I am gonna be folding over uh, just a little bit along here, enough to fit this tension rod in, so not a ton. So if you do wanna plan ahead a little bit on that, you know, if you intend to use this, you know, more permanently, if you get your own over like at Walmart or whatever, or you can. You can. So you might wanna leave extra on the top so it can fold over so you don't see it. If it doesn't bother you and you might just pin this on a wall anyways and you might not use it against a window, um, then that, that's fine. Um, so the next part is to get the tension rod up. So I'm going to um, decide on what I feel like the front is. Um, some people might modify a little bit with a Sharpie somewhere and your Sharpie will might be able to kind of be more, more noticeable on one side or the other. You know, hold it up in the light, you know, decide if you feel like it does have a front or a back, you know, whatever, whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna say that this is my front. So I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna get one of these tension rods, just kind of ask me where they're at. I'm also gonna get the pins. Um, these are safety pins. Um, for a piece that hangs like this, um, probably one, two, three is enough. Maybe four if you feel like you need it. You know, the long way, um, definitely four, maybe five. Um, so I'm gonna grab these. I'm gonna open one of them up. And I'm just gonna kind of roll this like so, so I can put the pin on it. Now this is my back. So I wanna barely see the pin on the front. So I'm gonna just push in, go through both layers, pull back out again, and then just kind of lock it in, you know, so you don't get, get pricked. Okay, now I have them all pinned. So it'll be able to be hanging up like, like this so far. And again, this is why you can decide is like, it might be a little heavy on the bottom with the white. I still see some on top, but you might decide, well, I think I might like it better if I gave myself an extra space, you know, leave some of the fabric on and be able to kind of wrap it that way. Last thing is to get your name tag. Um, and that's a little different this time um, because tape doesn't work. Um, pinning this doesn't work by itself. So we do have to use tape. Um, that way it doesn't rip the paper so much. So I'm gonna kind of do this false and, um, lamination by putting two pieces of tape, you know, kind of stacked on top of each other. Flip this over. Maybe, there we go. Two more. And one, and then we'll be done. So it's basically laminated. I'm gonna cut the, all the excess off. And then this way I can pin it and it won't rip through the paper. So I'm gonna grab another one of my safety pins. Um, again, bottom right hand corner. So I'm gonna keep that in the white area. Remember you just want the pin showing in the front. Again, make sure you circle your uh, grade level and if you wanna keep it or if you want me to toss it when you're done. So I'm going through the back side of it, went through the name tag, come back in. Close that up. And this way your name tag won't fall off. We've had issues in the past with name tags falling off because it was just paper. Um, other than that, get your packet in, make sure this is on our Sonia. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions and hopefully you understand all that and good luck on the project.